Hello, my dear gardeners. Stunted growth in roses. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about all the very interesting processes which are happening inside the tissues of the stunted plant. We're going to look inside. We're going to look into the root system of the plant. I will walk with you through all the possible reasons why plant went into the stunted stage and the most important thing, what to do to save that beloved rose. So today, Olga Karmedy with you, Master Gardener from Connecticut. Let's begin. So when we look into the tissues of the plant, what's happening? The plant is stunted. Very often, uh, the processes will be very well connected to the cause why plant is stressed and stunted, but in majority of cases, the quantity, not the quantity, yes, the speed with which cells divide and elongate themselves would be slowed down. So there wouldn't be that beautiful growth which we experience in healthy plants. And as a result, plant will look much smaller, the leaves of the plant would be much smaller, the root system of the plant would be much smaller, and what does plant do for the winter? It stores its energy through smaller leaves, so the process of uh, um, collecting the sun rays is decreased, the plant is not getting enough of food because the leaf surface is not big enough, so, okay, whatever is collected through those small leaves are coming down through plant tissues, which are also undergoing changes because of stunted growth or might undergo changes. The walls of the cells can be much skin smaller, skinnier, and plant can wilt, which can affect the ability of the plant to transport the nutrients back and forth in its uh, system. So whatever is collected, smaller amount of energy, so small leaves, cannot really go through the tissues because plant is wilted and the ability of transporting nutrients and liquid is decreased. And then all that small amount of energy has to be saved in the plant in the root system and stems. And very often when we look at the root system of stunted plant, the root system is underdeveloped. So that um, space where the energy has to be saved through the winter to help plant to live next year is also diminished. So a lot of things are happening with the plant which can bring uh, our beloved rose in this stage and uh, the plant can stay in this stage for a long time, sometimes up to several months. If we are very patient and if we are very attentive and the most important thing if we find out what is the cause of the problem which brought our plant into that stage we can bring plant back to life I would say several weeks at least so we have to keep in mind that stunted growth is a very difficult stage to bring the plant back and we have to do everything right to do that and it's a long process and we need a lot of patience. Two more things which I noticed on stunted plants, which are happening almost all the time. Stunted plants don't produce as much of, as many of flowers, as many of seeds, and not as many possible generations for next years to come. So the productive system of the plant is also slow down. And what do we want from our roses? Again, we want blooms. And blooms for the rose is future seeds. That's why rose is creating it. And if rose is stunted, of course, rose doesn't produce so much of seeds for the, few, for the next year. And there is one more very painful uh, side effect of stunted growth. Roses become, or any other plant, become very susceptible to diseases and pests. And we have this plant, which is not growing, which is not moving anywhere. And then the bugs start eating it. It starts to get mildew and gardeners are desperate. So let's move through all the possible causes of this stunted growth, because it's a very important thing. Oh, here comes the saw of our neighbor, but let me finish it. So it is a very important thing to find out the cause of the problem. Because then, with patience, when the gardener would be able to fix it, we might bring that rose back. If we grow our roses in pots, the possible reason for stunted growth would be that pot is simply too small. 
We camped at Rose in the pot for too long. The root system has nowhere to go and Rose simply needs to be reported out into the garden or uh, reported into a bigger pot. Reason number one. Second, very often it is either too much of uh, uh, water or too little amount of water. Of course, roses are heavy feeders. They do love to drink a lot, but they hate to stand in uh, standing water. They simply will drown. They need uh, a beautiful soil, well-drained soil, and they need a lot of water to drink. But they can't be overwatered, and they, as very often they cannot experience severe droughts. Don't get me wrong, roses are tough plants. And if there is a drought, roses are not going to die in majority of cases, but they might go into this stunted growth and they're not going to produce flowers for us. So that can be probably biggest issue with the rose. The second biggest issue would be sun. So roses love sun, at least six hours of sun a day. And right now, one of the disasters not a disaster, mistakes which we made with the front of our garden. We planted roses under the expanding canopies of maple trees. And this year the shade finally reached my front windows and I have beautiful, wonderful uh, Sweden roses there. And those roses are suffering. They are, don't have a lot of leaf mass. Everything what I walked with you, uh, what, what can happen in the tissues of the plant is right now is happening to those miserable roses in front of my house. So next year I have to do something with them. Of course, we love our roses. And very often that love is expressed in too much of fertilizers. And believe me, I was there. I overloved my roses too. And here's the video what to do if you over fertilized your rose, the emergency video. So if we do too much of fertilization, it can really hurt our plants. And one of the ways the plant can go is go into the shock and stunted growth. So be very careful how you fertilize your beloved plants. Don't overdo it. Don't underdo it. Just follow the instructions and be happy that roses are giving beautiful blooms. The other day, I was, not the other day, so, some time ago, I was uh, traveling to my uh, uh, kids' school and I was looking at this guy who was very passionate about his gardening. And what he did, he digged up the plant out of the soil, trimmed the root system and planted it back. And I looked at him and I thought to myself, what in the world is he doing? How is that going to help the plant? So another thing is what you can do to your plant to bring it into shock can be too much of pruning or let's say the tree fell on the plant and brought it into this uh, destruction, chopped half of the stems. That can also bring plant into a shock and stunted growth. Our plants do have special needs and some plants do love humid environments. For example, here in Connecticut, we do have a lot of humidity because we are facing the ocean. And some plants are not doing very well here at all. So keep that in mind. Roses generally don't really like very humid conditions. Uh, they suffer from all sorts of black spots and all sorts of um, diseases. So here black spot is the thing in my garden soil quality of course roses don't like to grow in very acidic environment they like it on a slightly acidic side and they are not going to tolerate alkaline soils so do yourself a favor do a testing of your soil and see what's going on and what happens in the soil which is not suited for the rose rose roots are not able to collect all the minerals micronutrients it needs for a good healthy growth because it's just not capable in those alkaline conditions. Uh, their minerals and micronutrients are locked into the state where they are not available for the roots to pull in. And your rose is suffering from a lack of resources. So probably the sun, watering, soil and pests and diseases would be the first thing I would look into. Roses are plants which are growing in a variety of conditions, especially temperature zones. But if you live in a very cold area in zone two, or you live in a very hot area where sun is beaming on those beautiful roses all day long, your roses might refuse to grow, might refuse to produce blooms for you and go into this stunted growth. So as you can see, a lot of uh, causes can be there and it's very important to investigate which one, alter it, 
and have a lot of patience because um, this process of plant going into stunted growth is, um, is slow and it takes a long time, if ever, to get that plant out. So at some times, believe me, I was there. One of my plants was stunted maybe six months and I kind of didn't pay attention to it. It was jade tree growing in son's house. And I kind of didn't pay attention to it because it was a secondary plant and it was sitting there and sitting there for good six months. And I was looking at, uh, at it thinking, how long are you going to sit like this? And then suddenly out of nowhere, it started growing. And the reason why it was stunted, it was severely damaged. Something fell on it and half of it was chopped off. So I hope this video was helpful. Please do subscribe, send me a message under this video if you have other suggestions for all of us to learn and to enjoy our roses. Okay, my dear gardeners, happy gardening and I will see you in my next video.